How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Nintendo Direct Leak Discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at some extremely interesting news that recently surfaced because guys, as I'm sure you were all already aware, today is Mario Day and Nintendo went ahead and announced a brand new collaboration between Nintendo and LEGO. Well guys, alongside with that, they also gave us some information about how this was supposed to be shown off in a Nintendo Direct, and since that didn't happen, it looks as though we might be getting a Nintendo Direct very soon. However guys, as always, and I cannot stress this enough, just because it seems as though this was supposed to be officially announced in a Nintendo Direct that seems to be at this point delayed, that does not mean that this is going to lead to a Direct for 100% sure, so make sure you guys take this with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. And now guys, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at all this new information. So guys, the first thing that I want to go ahead and talk about is Mario Day and what Nintendo decided to go ahead and tweet out. So as you guys can see on screen right now, here is the tweet that comes directly from Nintendo of America. So it says, something fun is being built. Stay tuned, hashtag Lego, hashtag Lego Super Mario, at Lego Group. So right away guys, yeah, I mean that's extremely awesome, we're getting a Lego and Super Mario crossover, they're probably going to be pretty rare in the long run, uh, especially if like they don't make a lot of them, however that's not what we're talking about in this video because lots of people started to think, wait, why was this not announced during a Nintendo Direct? This seems like the perfect thing to like announce during a Direct, even though it's not like directly video game related. And some eagle-eyed fans actually found some new information, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So guys, the information that lots of people have started freaking out about was posted by the European retailer Game. Now, if you guys don't know who Game is, basically, they're over in Europe and they're kind of like GameStop or EB Games where they sell games. They're a game store and over on their website, they went ahead and posted something about the LEGO and Super Mario crossover. So they went ahead and said... Heard about the partnership between LEGO and Nintendo? The latest Nintendo Direct announced their exciting collaboration. The first time that the two big brands have worked together. Details are limited at this stage, but we hope you are as excited as us. So yeah guys, they went ahead and posted about this and then basically immediately took it down because yeah, it seems as though we were already supposed to have a Nintendo Direct and it looks like it might have gotten delayed. So what does this mean? So if we decide to go ahead and take what game has to say as fact that we were already supposed to have a Nintendo Direct, yeah, that means that it definitely got delayed for some reason. Now right away guys, if you weren't already aware, yeah, a lot of stuff with Nintendo is going down right now because of the certain thing that I'm not going to talk about just because YouTube will automatically flag it, but I'm sure that if you guys have been paying attention to the news at all, you would notice that there is some kind of sickness <laughs> that's going on right now so yeah that sickness is actually what's making it so like nintendo is not getting a ton of products out there and a lot of people are starting to speculate that that's the reason we haven't gotten the nintendo direct yet now as to why that would be the case honestly i'm not especially sure especially if they already have like all this stuff done already it doesn't seem like it really should cause any like issues with posting the nintendo direct However guys, we know that last year they ended up delaying the Nintendo Direct because there was an earthquake in Japan, so they might be delaying this Direct for a reason that's really similar to that. Now, one thing I will go ahead and say is that there are numerous articles which talk all the time about how this certain sickness is starting to affect Nintendo, right? So, right now, if you guys to go to any big stores like Target, Walmart, GameStop, chances are they are going to have very limited supply of a couple of games such as Ring Fit Adventure and maybe even Switch consoles as well. Right now there is a huge thing going on right now with all the shipping and everything else like that where a lot of stuff isn't being allowed in and they aren't making as much so once again it's entirely possible this could be the reason that that direct got delayed and honestly it would make sense. Another thing that I wanted to go ahead and talk about was that 
guys on march 31st there is actually a nintendo investors meeting now to a lot of people i completely understand that probably doesn't really mean anything however guys nintendo has a ton of really high up there investors whenever they have a meeting like this they want to make sure that their investors are still giving them money to make games and consoles and everything else like that so they need to go into this like meeting having something to show off they need to show off some new kind of game like metroid prime 4 some new progress on a new console some new work on zelda breath of the wild 2 they need to bring something there and if they don't announce anything before the nintendo direct and then they just show everything off to them there is a huge possibility that the people in the investors meeting could leak some of the stuff out now obviously i don't think any of the investors would leak anything out just because it would probably be bad for business however guys it's entirely possible so i think that in this month we definitely have to get some nintendo direct of some kind so now if we do end up getting a nintendo direct at some point in march before march 31st when could it possibly happen well guys i am currently filming this on march 10th and so far we have not gotten the announcement of a nintendo direct now it's entirely possible that we could get the announcement later on today however at this point i don't think it's going to end up happening so let's just x out this week next week we have the 17th 18th and 19th and then we have the release of animal crossing on the 20th now right away guys yes there are lots of people that are always going to say that because we have a huge new game that's going to be released on that friday nintendo's not gonna want to also like do a full on nintendo direct because then it would be kind of stealing thunder from the animal crossing game release however guys i don't really think that's the case there's a lot of hype built up for animal crossing and if they wanted to go ahead and show it off a little bit more like one last time before the game released i don't think that would do anything but like help sales for the game so yeah i definitely think it is possible for us to get one next week and then the next week after that we have uh the 24th 25th and 26th as all possible days and yeah those would definitely work we don't have any really big releases coming out that that week there's no animal crossing to like clash with anything so it's entirely possible it could happen that week but it needs to happen before the end of March because once again, there is an investors meeting that's going to end up happening and they do have stuff they're going to need to show off. So yeah, I definitely think it's going to be happening pretty soon. So yeah, guys, now that we've gone ahead and talked about all the possible dates a Nintendo Direct could happen this month, what do I think we're going to end up seeing? Well, guys, if it does release before Animal Crossing New Horizons does, then I definitely think we're going to get some more information about Animal Crossing. It probably won't be anything major, just something about a couple new villagers or something like that. But yeah, they're going to want to push this, so probably some Animal Crossing stuff. After that, I definitely think we're going to be getting a new Smash Ultimate character. Now, I was a little hesitant about this for a while, but after thinking about it i definitely think that getting a new smash ultimate character is the way to go just because the last character byleth was really disappointing so yeah they're gonna start it off strong sakurai is gonna give us a great character and i know we're all looking forward to that and then after that guys definitely think we're gonna end up seeing paper mario now i know that you guys have heard about sabi and his buddy zippo and all of the people who were leaking nintendo stuff for a while but recently got cease and desist but they said that we were going to be getting some kind of new paper mario now they didn't say whether or not we were going to be getting a brand new style of it like if we were going to be getting like sticker star hd 3d world whatever uh but it seems as though we are going to be getting either a remake of the original or thousand year door or we are going to be getting a new paper mario game that is very similar to those in terms of like mechanics and stuff and personally that's what i'm hoping for because i already have played the original and thousand year door but honestly i would totally play them again and then also guys another thing that i definitely think we're going to end up seeing is some new information on zelda breath of the wild 2 obviously guys we need more information about breath of the wild 2 people have been dying to see just one other teaser trailer maybe give us some new information about the battle mechanics or something else like that but yeah i definitely think that breath of the wild 2 is going to make an appearance in some way so hey let's hope it ends up happening however guys with all of that being said i want to know what you guys think about everything that we talked about in today's video in the comment section down below do you guys believe that the Nintendo Direct was actually delayed because of the Corona <coughs> virus? Or do you guys think that it's possible that they just haven't released one yet because they don't want to? 
Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share, and like. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.